right, we're back on CentralValleyTalk.com. We've, we've been talking bonsai during the commercial break there because this is the president of the Bonsai Society from Hanford, and he's also with County Dama Bonsai Soil. This is Glenn Van Winkle. Did Mike, I get all that right? Yes, you did. It's a pleasure to meet you, Mike. Pleasure to meet you, too. And I never knew bonsai could be so interesting. Oh, it, it, it will encompass your entire world <laughs> if you allow it to. If you allow it to. Yes. In my case, that's what I do every day. I have probably 150 potted trees like this. Around and your house? No. I'm, I'm, I'm like a cowbird. I lay my eggs in somebody else's nest. <laughs> all of my trees, all of my bonsai trees, and all of my trees growing up to be bonsai, which there's probably a thousand or more, are at Nehi Bonsai on Ashland, on the north side of Ashland, between Marx and Valentine. Okay. And so. There's where I went, and I abused that gentleman greatly. <laughs> In a nice way. In I'm a sure. very nice way. It's a symbiotic relationship <laughs> because I make soil and I make plants and I make all of the things that he needs for his nursery, mm. and I'm very generous with him. All right. Now, listen, something we have a lot of here in the valley is hard pan. And yes. you, you have found a way to use hard pan in bonsai soil. Yes. And it started out as a practical joke on said Gray Anderson of Nehi Bonsai 25 years ago. I was going down the road and I saw a strip of hard pen on the side of the road. So I jumped out and I grabbed a couple of big pieces. I took them home and put a hammer to them. Wait, they were in chunks? Yeah. Yeah, yeah hard pen's always in chunks. Okay. Broke them up into, sifted them out into the different particle sizes that would be used for bonsai. And we import a very expensive soil from Japan called Akadama. Akadama. That's correct. Akadama. Very expensive. All right. So I took these bags of soil and I put it on his counter and said, California Akadama. <laughs> and he looked at it and touched it and tasted it and thought I was crazy. But when I was done, I had this stuff, so I took it home and put a tree in it. I planted it. A bonsai tree. Yeah. I, and, and it grew like crazy. Huh. So I said, wow, this must be nice. So for the next 20 years, I sat in the backyard with a little steel table with a steel plate in the center of it and a big hammer, and I'd sit there for hours like this. Busting this stuff up. Huh? For 20 years, I busted it up by hand. I've gotten smarter now. Wow. You, you have a machine that does it now? Uh, last time yeah. I collected out of the field, we collected 207 tons Woo. of hard pan and took it down to Clark's Crushing on uh, Orange Avenue and ran it through their concrete crusher. That's a lot easier than banging it yourself. That's a lot right? easier. But then I take that and take it to where I keep my soil. Again, another, another snowbird and, you know, another cowbird story in the back of somebody else's yard where I have my <laughs> mill and my sifter. See? And he likes me, too, because I make all of his bonsai soil for him for free. Aww. See? So it's a, another symbiotic relationship. Yeah. Now, what, what is it, do you think, in the hard pan that makes it such good soil for bonsai? The exact same thing that makes it such bad soil for growing a crop done. It was bound together by magnesium many, many, many millennia ago okay. when the San Joaquin Valley was a hot and shallow sea. And coming up out of the ground was in the in the steam vents and everything, was magnesium, and the magnesium joined with the sand and clay levers layers, and made it solid, rock hard. Okay. But it still absorbs water. So when you break it up and make it into these little you can particles, pick those up if you want. Show them over here. If you when you when you break this up, and make it into the little particles like you see here. Each one of those little brown particles will absorb a measure of water and when the temperature is 112 degrees it takes more than 24 hours for it to release that water Ooh. back out to the plant and it does it in the form of molecular water. See, Because a plant, if you put it in liquid water, will drown. So you want that slow release. You want that slow release of water molecules and that is what your roots can actually take up and use. Hmm. And it will also absorb nutrients, nitrogen, potassium. It will absorb that into the particle and release that molecule at a time. Again, what the tree really desires. Hmm. So 
what happens is, is that when you put your plant in this soil, it changes the root structure completely. Makes many, many, many roots, like the hairs on my beard. And when it does that, the roots then in turn around make many, many, many buds on the top of your tree, which is that ramification that you want in your bonsai. You work very hard to get it. When you have the Caledama bonsai soil, it makes it a great deal easier to get it. In the winter, you might only water once a month. When it's 100 degrees in the summer, it doesn't matter whether it's a little tree or, or even a smaller tree, you water once a day. You go to work, do whatever you have to do, come back the next day, water it again. It's still there, it's still happy. It's still waiting for you to come back and water it again. Wow. So it allows an old man like me to keep 16, 1,700 trees and still be able to have a life. <laughs> <laughs> so now, do you bag this stuff up and sell it? Or yes, I do. You do. This is available at Nehi Bonsai. Uh, you can pick up a 33-pound bag, which is a half cubic foot, okay. for $24. And if you're out in the world... You can find it on eBay. Uh, you can find it on our uh, Caledama Bonsai Soil website. You can find it on Caledama Bonsai Soil Facebook page. And uh, this, we're just starting to do this, so there will be more and more and more contact points where this material will be available. I've finally reached a point where I have enough material that I don't have to worry about promising material to somebody and then not being able to produce it. So. Consequently, this year, with as much material as that we have, we're able to promise people that the material will be there and available to them and put it out on the market. So we're going to see what it does. You'll be selling this stuff around the world before you know it, right? That is a possibility. I mean, they send soil from Japan to America. There's no reason why we can't send soil from here everywhere else in the world. Let's reverse it, yeah. There and you go. No shortage of hard band. That, well, now, the, the people say that, but the truth of the matter is that uh, it doesn't come easy. It's down there, but it's hard to get to? Even when it's up on the surface and it's in a pile, the cost of moving it is very, very expensive. Um, this, this, this year's batch of soil, I've invested a minimum of $5,000 just, just getting it to me where I can do that. You know, and uh, there's been a heavy capital investment in equipment to be able to provide the, the pounds and the quantity in the soil. Well, now it's time to start getting a return on that investment. There you go. But it is a great joke on the San Joaquin Valley farmer, bless you all, <laughs> what you're trying to throw away is worth something to somebody else. Is got a great value, there about you go. $50 a cubic foot. Wow. Glenn, thank you so much. Mike, it's been a great pleasure to visit with you. and. Uh, Hopefully we'll do it again sometime. Hopefully we will. Glenn Van Winkle from Kalidama Bonsai Soil. And again, where is it sold? It's sold at Nehi Bonsai between Marks and Valentine on the north side of Ashland Avenue. It is on the internet, on eBay, and it is also available at Kalidama Bonsai Soil Facebook page. There you go. There you go. Lots of places you can find it. And we'll be back with more on centralvalleytalk.com. Lunch phone, what is your location, please? I'm in Fresno's Tower District. What is your budget, please? I only have seven dollars. Well, that leaves you only one choice. Go directly to Bobby Salazar's in the Tower District. He is having a lunch special for six eighty nine. Well, that won't leave me enough money to get a drink. No worries. Bobby Salazar's in the Tower District will get you lunch and a drink for just six eighty nine. Wow. I'm going straight to Bobby Salazar's in the Tower District to get the lunch special and drink for just six eighty nine. Thank you for calling Lunch Phone. This has been a recording. Let our family at Avakian Insurance Services help protect your family's future. If you've bought a new home, changed vehicles, or just need a comprehensive review, let our agents help you. As your family grows, we can offer you competitive rates on life and health insurance. Call Avakian Insurance Services for a quote today. Avakian Insurance Services, 268-7386. 
or visit us online at avakianinsurance.com. Come join the A-Team. Watts Family Grill. We grill slow, smile, secret sauce, cold beer, and old friends. Park out back. Look for us on Blackstone, South of McKinley, Watts Family Grill. Stan Gross of Horn Photo. Are you looking for a camera that takes better pictures than your phone? Why not give Horn Photo a shot? We can show you fantastic cameras from Nikon, Canon, Sony, and GoPro. Your time is valuable, so before you buy from Costco, Best Buy, or the Internet, come see us. We've got great prices and deals, super knowledgeable staff, and we've been selling cameras in Fresno for 76 years. We're in the Bellagio at Blackstone and Knees, or go to hornphoto.com, Fresno's Camera Center. In 1985, Larry Quartz set out to help his friends, family, and community find affordable ways to buy a home or a business property. Thirty years later, Mid Valley Financial is the premier mortgage banker in the Central Valley. The professional staff at Mid Valley will find the best mortgage products for your family. Mid Valley Financial takes great pride in being the Central Valley's local lender. Visit us at midvalleyfinancial.com.